name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening everybody and welcome to our evening prayer this evening, this Monday evening, the 7th of December, as we celebrate the life of Ambrose, Bishop of Milan and Teacher of the Faith. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness, and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 144 is, Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who teaches my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my steadfast help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what are mortals that you should consider them, mere human beings that you should take thought for them? They are like a breath of wind, their days pass away like a shadow. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast down your lightnings and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and let thunder roar. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and take me out of the great waters, from the hand of the foreign enemies, whose mouths speak wickedness, and their right hand is the hand of falsehood. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. O God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a ten-stringed harp. You that give salvation to the kings, and have delivered David your servant. Save me from the peril of the sword, and deliver me from the hand of foreign enemies, whose mouths speak wickedness, and whose right hand is the hand of falsehood. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. So that our sons in their youth may be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters like pillars, carved for the corners of the temple. Our barns be filled with all manner of store, our flocks bearing thousands and ten thousands in our field. Our cattle be heavy with young. May there be no miscarriage or untimely birth, no cry of distress in our streets. Happy are the people whose blessing is this. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. Happy are the people who have the Lord for their God. The refrain for Psalm 146 is, The Lord shall reign for ever. The Lord shall reign for ever. Alleluia! Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor any human power.
for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. The Lord shall reign for ever. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, who keeps his promise for ever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord shall reign for ever. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign for ever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. The Lord shall reign for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first reading this evening is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 30, beginning at verse 1. O rebellious children, says the Lord, who carry out a plan, but not mine, who make an alliance, but against my will, adding sin to sin, who set out to go down to Egypt without asking for my counsel, to take refuge in the protection of Pharaoh and to seek shelter in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore the protection of Pharaoh shall become your shame, and the shelter in the shadow of Egypt your humiliation. For though his officials are in Zoan, and his envoys reach Hanes, everyone comes to shame through a people that cannot profit them, that brings neither help nor profit, but shame and disgrace. An oracle concerning the animals of the Nejeb, through a land of troubles and distress, of lion, s and roaring lion, of viper and flying serpent. They carry their riches on the backs of donkeys, and their treasures on the humps of camels, to a people that cannot profit them. For Egypt's help, help is worthless and empty. Therefore I have called her Rahab, who sits still. Go now, write it before them on a tablet, and inscribe it in a book, so that it may be for the time to come as a witness for ever. For they are rebellious people, faithless children, children who will not hear the instruction of the Lord, who say to the seers, do not see, and to the prophets, do not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us smooth things, prophecy illusions, leave the way, turn aside from the path, let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. Therefore thus says the Holy One of Israel, because you reject this word and put your trust in oppression and deceit and rely on them, therefore this iniquity shall become for you like a break in a high wall, bulging out and about to collapse, whose crash comes suddenly in an instant. Its breaking is like that of a potter's vessel that is smashed so ruthlessly that among its fragments not a sherd is found for taking fire from the hearth or dipping water out of the cistern. For thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall you shall, shall be your strength. But you refused and said, No, we will flee upon horses, therefore you shall flee, and we will ride upon swift steeds, therefore your pursuers shall be swift. A thousand shall flee at the threat of one, at the threat of five you shall flee, until you are left like a flagstaff 
on the top of a mountain, like a signal on a hill. Therefore the Lord waits to be gracious to you. Therefore he will rise up to show mercy to you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are those who wait for him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The refrain to the canticle is, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me to give everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you, with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the Bride, come, let each hero reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty, let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour, glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Our second reading this evening is from the Gospel of St Matthew, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. At that time, Herod, the ruler, heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, this is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been telling him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd because they regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company, and she pleased Herod so much that he promised on oath to grant her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. The king was grieved. Yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought on a platter and given to the girl who brought it to her mother. His disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went and told Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. The refrain to the Magnificat is, Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, 
and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Those who keep and teach the commandments will be considered great in heaven. Let us pray. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to all nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry and nourish us all with your word. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life, be with us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, we cover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, the resurrection and the life. We give you thanks for all that who have lived and believed in you. Raise us with them to eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now in a moment of silent prayer, we offer up to God anybody who we know who is in need of our prayers this evening and our own needs and concerns at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hosts, who called Ambrose from the governor's throne to be a bishop in your church and an intrepid champion of your faithful people, mercifully grant that as he did not fear to rebuke rulers, so we, with like courage, may contend for the faith we have received. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. <laughs>